Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com, co-host for Resurrect the Republic, Dirty Uncle Sam. I wanted to give you some information and something that I received in my inbox that I found rather amusing. As you can see, I got this email from Victoria Kaplan from Move On Political Action. Now, I'm going to read to you my email. Of course, I am not going to provide that, but um, I thought you would be highly interested in this. Dear Ohio Move On member, by the way, yes, I am a Move On member so that I can keep up with what they are up to and that is the only reason that I am a quote unquote member. I do not donate money or funds or anything else to Move On. I am simply on their email list. So let me make that clear before I go any further. Dear Ohio Move On member, this Thursday, <clears throat> Donald Trump, who has built his presidential campaign by bashing immigrants, attacking women, and inciting violence, will accept the Republican Party's nomination for president. We won't stay silent as the Republican Party officially becomes the party of Trump, putting its full force behind Trump's racist, xenophobic, and anti-woman platform. That's why we are joining our friends at Next Gen Climate. Credo Action, United We Dream Action, 350, People for the American Way, and People's Action this week to organize Stop Trump protests all over the country. This Thursday, July 21st, the last day of the Republican National Convention and the day Trump accepts the nomination, activists will rally at local Republican Party offices, Republican elected officials' offices, and the offices of corporations sponsoring the Republican Convention to speak out against Trump's hate. There are already more than 50 events planned across the country. There isn't yet an event in Springfield, and we would love to know right away if you're able to host one. Can you host a Stop Trump event in Springfield this Thursday on July 21st. I'm an organizer and I will get in touch with you right away to help you plan your event and send you a toolkit and we'll help recruit like-minded people near you to join you. The main things you need to host an event are the conviction that Donald Trump should not be our next president and a commitment to nonviolence. With the media spotlight trained on the Republican convention this week, reporters are looking for local stories of people speaking out against Trump's bigotry. We can redirect the spotlight to the voices of the tens of millions of people who, like you and me, reject Trump's campaign of division and racism. And we can provide an outlet for people who have been wanting to speak up but maybe haven't found the opportunity to yet. We wouldn't be sharing this opportunity with you if we didn't think that it would make a big difference. And we've helped Move On members like you organize powerful events in even less time. So hosting a protest event this Thursday won't be a problem if you're willing to step up. Trump has called Mexican immigrants rapists and criminals. He's proposed banning Muslims, including U.S. citizens from entering the United States. He's an unapologetic myo myogenist who has committed to ending women's access to abortion. He has encouraged his supporters to target protesters at his rallies with violence and has justified and endorsed the violence of his supporters commit. And Trump's selection of Indiana Governor Mike Pence, who famously signed legislation legalizing discrimination against LGBTQ people, and who championed one of the most restrictive anti-abortion laws in the country, as his running mate means Trump is doubling down on his bigoted agenda. While some Republicans have tried to distance themselves from Trump's toxic candidacy, the truth is that they have helped to build and now completely own Trump's racist platform. 
When he accepts the nomination in Cleveland this week, the Republican Party will officially become the party of Trump, of Islamophobia, of misogyny, of anti-immigrant xenophobia, of bigotry and hate. With the nation's attention on Trump's acceptance speech this Thursday, we have an opportunity to demonstrate that we have a different vision of our future than Trump's vision, and that it's on all of us to stop him and his party of hate. Thanks for all you do. Victoria, Emily, Josh, Justin, R, and the rest of the team. So, I wanted to share this with you all because I find this very amusing. First of all, anyone who follows me knows I've not endorsed any candidate, okay? I am uh, not under the illusion that anybody who gets into the presidency is going to solve the issues of this union. It's going to be bottom up, not top down. With that being said, this is the most blatant crock of crap that I have heard. An absolute out and out lies. So they're wanting me to help create a protest against Trump because he doesn't believe that a child should be ripped apart or stabbed in the back of the head um, and murdered. Okay. He, they want me to uh, go against Trump and help to do with this protest that they're putting together, by the way, which is not grassroots. That they're putting together because they've got a toolkit ready for me. So they want me to do an anti-Trump protest because of the quote-unquote Islamophobia, which means Trump stated that because the State Department does not vet the individuals that come into this country well enough that they it needs to be put on pulse until they can vet the individuals properly. That is already law. That's in the Immigration Nationalization Act. I believe it's 1952. I may misquote the year. I'll go over it. I'll find it. I'll do another video on it because I'm not trying to make a long video right now. But that's already law because it's an ideology Islam is an ideology that is completely contrary to our Constitution, which is already a law. So they also want me to create a protest because he supposedly um, is dividing and divisive and, oh my gosh, they're against those LGBTQ people. What a crock. Trump's not anti anybody except for he is pro-American. Now, yes, you will hear that from me. No, I'm not endorsing Trump. No, I'm not under the illusion that he's going to fix anything. But I am not going to allow this to not go reported on because this is blatant lies. So, I looked up to find out who MoveOn.org really is, which we all pretty much know, but I'm going to go over it just a little bit, not a lot. The history of MoveOn.org, <clears throat> we'll put it this way. In 2016, MoveOn endorsed U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders for President of the United States after holding online elections in which 340,655 members reportedly cast their ballot. 78.6% of these supported the junior senator from Vermont, while 14.6% of 0.09% threw themselves behind the same secretary, the former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and former Mayor Governor Martin O'Malley. So, what do you need to know? Basically, this is a straight, a group that is a progressive group that tries to get people, obviously one of their factions or one of the things that they do is they send out emails, straight lies, and what they do is they try to get it to look like it is a grassroots protest all across America and 
so it can get in the news. Well, look, all these people are just against Trump. Never mind that we're putting the call out. Never mind that we're giving you the toolkit of exactly what to do and say. I'm sorry, but the last time I checked, I have my own mind. If I want to put together a protest for anything or anybody, I have no problems doing it myself. I don't need your word for word toolkits. I don't need your lies. I don't need your made up things. I know this. I know Donald Trump is against babies being murdered. I know he is for locking down our borders because criminals are coming across at an alarming rate. I know that he is against the TPP, which destroys our national sovereignty and destroys our businesses. I know he is pro every race that there is. Do I think Donald Trump is the savior of the world? Absolutely not. Do I think that he's going to change everything? Absolutely not. I do know he is all pro Second Amendment for you to be able to defend your life and the life of your child. So this moveon.org people, my message to you, you can stick it where the sun doesn't shine. God bless you. Read your Bible because we were established as a Christian nation. And the last time I checked, what was it right before Christ rose? It is finished. God bless you and good night.